Hello all. Welcome to another tutorial from Mentorcraft Solutions Private Limited. And this is CB Abraham, CEO of Mentorcraft Solutions Private Limited. Today, we are going to discuss about how to start a video meeting from Google Classroom. I have logged in as a teacher in my teacher's account in Google Classroom. I'm teaching English in grade 7a. In order to start a video meeting for grade 7a, at a particular time what you need to do is go into the classroom click on the cog wheel on the top right of the classroom there under general tab you can see an option called meet video link it says none there you need to click on the three dots on the right hand side and click on create video call Now you can see a link has been generated underneath and there is an option to make this link visible to students in, in your classroom and that option is turned on at the moment and click save. Now you can see a video icon on the top right of your classroom. The same will be visible to students enrolled in your classroom because you made it visible. In order to join the video meeting, you just need to click on the video icon. It will open up the Google Meet and make sure you have installed Google Meet on your mobile device. The Google Meet is opened on my mobile device. I have the option to join meeting and present my screen here. In order to start this meeting as a teacher, I need to click on join meeting. Once I start the meeting, I have joined the same meeting as a student who is part of the same class. As I told you, for students, if they want to join the meeting, they will have a video icon on top of their classroom. They just need to click on it. On the top half of the Google Meet window, you can see the video stream from your participants. Or along with that, you can also see some controls associated with Google Meet. The one on the left hand side is the mute or unmute mic button and one in the middle is the end call button the one on the right is the turn off or on camera button once you mute your mic and turn off your camera it will look like this it is better to turn off your camera and the participants camera as well if there is a slow internet connection during the meeting when you click on the name of a participant, three options will appear. The first one is the pin the participant button. The second one is the mute the participant button. And the third one is the remove the participant. You can click on the pin button if you want to see the video stream from that participant on the top half of the Google Meet window. If you want to mute a participant, you can click on the mute the participant icon. And if you want to remove a particular participant from meeting, you can use the remove button. There are much more menu options associated with Google Meet. If you click on the three dots on the top right hand corner of the Google Meet window, you will get this pop up menu. The first option in the menu is switch camera. This option can be used to switch your front and back camera of your mobile device. And the second option is present screen which can be used to present the entire screen to your participants during this meeting. In order to present the screen, click present screen and then you will get this pop up. Click on start presenting. You will get another pop up. Click start now. Your screen sharing will start immediately. Once you are on the screen, do not use the back button. You can either use the home button or the multiple window button to open up another window where you have a presentation or an image to show to the participants. You can even show the participants a video stored on your mobile device or from YouTube. But while you're sharing a video, you won't be able to share the video's audio with it. There is a chat option associated with the Google Meet. Also, there is a place for you to type in your message, which will be visible to all the participants. You can also see a meeting info tab where you can see a visible meet link 
which can be shared with any other participants who is outside of your classroom and who wish to join the same meeting. Keep in mind that when you start a meeting using your school account, any participants who are outside your school account won't be able to join that meeting. That means participants with personal email account won't be able to join the meeting. Once you finish your meeting session, you can click on the end call button to finish the meeting. Make sure teacher is the last one leaving the meeting. You should either ask all your participants to leave the meeting before you finish the session or you can manually remove them one by one. Once you finish your meeting, you need to go back to the same classroom where you started the meeting and click on the settings button. On that page, you need to change two settings to make your Google Meet session a safer one. Step one, make sure visible to student classroom button is turned off. And step two, click on the three dots on the right hand side of the video meet link. You will get an option to reset the video link. Step three, click on reset video link. Step four, save. Once it is done, the meet link or the video icon won't be visible to students so that they cannot join the same meeting again. These four steps must be done after finishing each and every meeting. If you want to start a new meeting the next day or the same day for the same class, what you just need to do is come back to the settings, turn on the visible to students in the classroom button and click save. The video icon will appear again. The students will be able to join the session. If you are using Google Meet on a desktop or a laptop device, you will have some extra options such as record meeting. You can change the layout of how the participants can be viewed on the screen. You can see up to 49 participants in one go on a single screen. There you have the option to change your background. You can even turn on the captions. When you speak, the captions will be shown on the screen. The record option is only available on the desktop version of Google Meet. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you.